Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at how we can import Apache server logs into our Elasticsearch and visualize them on Kibana using Logstash. So uh, in this uh, process what we are going to do is we are going to use files module in Logstash. So uh, what it does uh, actually means is that we are going to be reading logs from a file and then we are going to uh, specify the type of log which is Apache so uh, the log stash will automatically run it through the pipeline of Apache uh, server logs and then it will uh, identify different fields from that logs and populate those fields according to the uh, pet, uh, pipeline of Apache so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a config file for Apache logs so what uh, what we can do is just so I'm just going to divide it over here and first of all we are going to download some test log uh, data so over here uh, this is the elastic github uh, repository it provides some uh, demo or common data formats so I am going to download their uh, log data for Apache and I am going to duplicate it on my server and once it is done so we need to rename it just md apache log to apache log dot log and hit enter now what we need to do is we need to edit the config so nano dash etc log dash on c and now we are going to name the config file apache dot on and hit enter now we are going to create a basic config that will read data from a uh, file and then populate that data into Elasticsearch. So as we know that there are basic two uh, parts that are needed for the config. One is input and the other one is output. So in the input uh, section what we are going to do is we are going to use the file module because we are going to load data from file and then and the next thing that we need is we need to specify the file path so it is where, uh, where the file is stored uh, that contains the log for Apache. So in our case it is in the home directory so home slash apache underscore log dot log and the next thing is we need to uh, provide the type of the logs that we are sending uh, to log stack so in our case it is logs from apache server we are going to define the type as Apache so it uh, that means that the log stash will automatically uh, get all the fields and data uh, from the logs and we don't need to specify uh, each field in our config file and we are also going to define the starting uh, uh, position from where the log uh, from where log stash will start reading so it will be start underscore position and we are going to, to uh, say from the beginning and that completes our input section and now we need to define our config in the output section. 
so it is going to be same as elastic search and we are, now we are going to define the host And over here, just uh, enter the IP address and the port where we are going to be storing the logs. So, in our case, the IP address is 142.93.39.38, and the port will be 9200. And now we need to also uh, specify the index where we will be storing the log. Index is going to be Apache log. Okay, so just now save the config and now we are going to run our config over here. So just do that. Dash user here log stash bin log stash and dash f to specify the config file and that is in etc log stash dot d and apache dot config and just hit enter and now it is going to read all the uh, logs from our log file and then uh, it will automatically process those logs and uh, divide those logs into different fields and after that it will start storing those logs into our Elasticsearch instance. So as you can see over here it has already started doing the processing and it is giving us some information about the logs over here and it seems that it has already imported all the logs so let's see if we can see our new index over here so just go to index patterns and after that go to create index and over here Just go to index patterns and it might take some time to load the index over here. As you can see over here, our index has already been loaded now. And just copy the index and paste it over here and click next. And now we are going to select the timestamp because we are going to filter according to that and create index pattern. And it is going to take a few minutes depending on the size of the data that you imported. And let's see. Uh, what kind of logs we can do. so just go to discover section and over here we are going to select the index apache logs and now if we go ahead and see uh, take a look at the logs we can see that they are all uh, segregated into different parts so as you can see that all our uh, log is in the message uh, message field so we can see everything uh, that is related to uh, related to that log, uh, we can see that the IP uh, from where the request was sent and what was the response of that header and things like that. So that's uh, how you can import your logs directly from Apache uh, server into your Elasticsearch instance. So we are uh, in the future videos we are going to take a look at how we can further uh, divide these. Uh, message uh, single message uh, log into different parts like we how uh, we are going to create different fields over here like the client ip and the timestamp when the log was hit on the server and the method and the path where the log was uh, where the uh, web, uh, web request was directed on and we are going to take a look at those so for this video that's it and do subscribe to our channel if you have any questions do comment down below and thanks for watching